Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacoby from jacobysjourneys.com. So today we're going to be taking a look at some freeze-dried food. This is a company called Trailtopia Adventure Food. And this is ramen noodles with beef, mushrooms, and vegetables. I love ramen noodles, so we're going to check this out, see how it tastes, and see if it's something that we want to bring on our next adventure. So again, I've never had freeze-dried ramen noodles like this, so I'm actually really excited to try this one. And they have a ton of different meals, desserts, all kinds of things, so I definitely recommend checking them out. This serves one, so this is not a two-person meal. This is just one, which actually I like. I like the size of this package right off the bat. That's one of the things I noticed is it's a nice compact size, so you can fold this down. You know, putting this in your pack or travel with this makes it much easier. Uh, looking on the back here, remove and discard the oxygen absorber, expand the bottom of the bag to give it a, a stable base, and then adding one and a half cups of boiling water, stir it up thoroughly, seal the pouch, and then let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then it's basically going to cook those noodles in the bag. And then opening the bag, you can eat directly out of the bag. So the ingredients on this are actually really straightforward as well. We've got wheat noodles, freeze-dried corn, freeze-dried mushrooms, freeze-dried green beans, and spices. So that's kind of nice. There's not a long list of chemicals in this one. So that's a, that's a big plus in my book for sure. Let's go ahead and get this open. Give it the smell test, right? Mm, I'll be honest, I'm not really, not impressed with the smell. Some of these freeze-dried meals, right when you open them, they actually smell pretty good. This one, uh, I wouldn't say it's one of them. It actually kind of just tastes, it kind of smells like cardboard. Not a lot of smell to it. Some broken up pieces of the ramen noodles and some of these little pieces of freeze-dried green beans, mushrooms, corn, and basically some powder, some seasoning. So first we're gonna pull out that oxygen absorber packet. You don't wanna eat that. All right, so we got this opened up ready. So let's go ahead and get the water on, get it boiling, and then we'll get cooking. I'm gonna go just a hair under one and a half, just so it's not super soupy, super, you know, watery. I do want soup because it is technically soup, right? Ramen noodles. Let's get this in there. Let's fire this bad boy up. All right, so we got our water on. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit and we'll get this boiling. It doesn't really say a lot on the package. It just says that your rehydration times are gonna, are gonna vary depending on your altitude, just like you know most freeze-dried meals. It has an expiration date of 2026. I actually really like ramen noodles, The just the cheap, I don't know the name. They're usually like orange or red packets. This one actually looks pretty impressive because it does have those chunks of uh, mushroom, green beans, and corn. A few minutes later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have boiling water. Get this shut off. Get this out of the way. And then again, the directions are straightforward. Pour boiling, one and a half cups of boiling water into the bag. Stir thoroughly, seal, and let sit for 10 minutes. So I'll go ahead. I'll put all of this, since it's been boiling, some of that water's evaporated a little. And then we'll stir this up. Definitely smells a lot more like beef now. Now that I've got the water in there and it's starting to reconstitute, I can smell that beef. It's not very strong, but I can smell it. So while we're waiting for this to reconstitute, I thought I'd mention on the nutrition facts here. So one serving or one package, we've got 200 calories, 2% fat. The sodium is a little high, 26%, uh, which is, I guess, common for these, right? So let's get this opened up and see how it looks. Oh, wow. It pretty much absorbed all of that water. There's a little bit of soup, you know, in the bottom, but the noodles look good. Hmm. Well, my first impression, the flavor is not very strong. It's pretty uh, kind of weak beef flavor, but the consistency is not bad. The noodles actually just taste like normal, you know, cooked noodles. Green beans, not bad. Let's try the mushroom. Got a few little mushrooms here. Yeah, not bad. Nothing special, nothing uh, horrible. As it is, as it comes, it's pretty neutral. Not a lot of flavor to it, which I guess is good if you want to add a little bit of sriracha or something spicy maybe, or pepper, salt. But yeah, overall, I would say it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. I would buy it again uh, on a scale of one to 10. Mm, I'd probably give this about a six, six or seven. Uh, it's not horrible, it's not really delicious, um, but it's not bad. 
I could definitely finish it and I would definitely buy it again. I am impressed with the, the corn, the green beans, the mushrooms. You know, it actually does have those, so it's not like a flavor, and they're not little tiny pieces. They actually are full-on pieces, so it's not just little tiny slivers like some other uh, freeze-dried meal brands they might do. All right, so to summarize, I could definitely recommend the Trilltopia beef ramen. You know, it's not the best meal I've ever had, but it's also not the worst uh, as far as freeze-dried food goes. This would make a good lunch. It's affordable. I think I paid $4 or $5 for this, so that's pretty affordable. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you want to check this out and any purchases through that link will help support my channel So thank you. Thanks again for watching hit subscribe if you haven't I upload new adventure travel and travel gear review videos every week and remember life's about the journey Not just the destination